Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Guys, if you have a BMW 3 Series from year 2005 to year 2013, I'm talking about a BMW E90, E91, E92, E93. This is the 3 Series guys BMW. Uh, and you have guys a vacuum leak or you're wondering what a vacuum leak is. Stay with us guys and we'll explain what is a vacuum leak, what to look for and what needs to be done to fix a vacuum leak. Quick introduction to the channel, every single car we get at the shop guys, we make at least 200 to 300 free repair videos. Specifically on BMWs guys, we make probably close to 400 to 500 videos and we'll have more than 400 videos on 3 series BMW. Why? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys so we can keep providing these free videos. If you guys need to buy any parts or tools for your BMW, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the parts and tools from. This guys right here is a BMW uh, E91, okay? E91 is the station wagon, E90 is sedan, E92 is scoop, E93 is the convertible. But doesn't matter guys, all of them use the same drivetrain, same engines. We will be uh, uh, showing you here on a six cylinder engine guys. But even if you have a four cylinder engine, the procedure will be about the same for all of them. For having a vacuum leak, pretty much on any engine guys. So let's explain now what causes guys vacuum leak and what is a vacuum leak. So. What is a vacuum leak? Let's start by that guys. Vacuum leak are super hard to diagnose. Okay, most people will spend quite a bit of time trying to find something when it could be su something super simple and you may start replacing sensor after sensor, dumping hundreds and hundreds of dollars in your vehicle when it could be something super simple. So make sure you stay the, uh, until the end guys and we're going to cover that. So, vacuum leak is guys some amount of extra air that the engine is getting but it does not know about that air as a result guys the engine will actually run on lean mixture what is a lean mixture lean mixture is when you okay when let's say you're supposed to have one part fuel one part air and it mixes together so it has that perfect uh, explosion inside the engine and creates power but instead of having one part fuel one part air you have one part fuel two parts air okay it means that the engine has more air less fuel that's lean mixture how that could happen guys okay how did that could happen let's explain now so first guys on your bmw find your air filter box this is guys your air filter box on this specific model so for the six cylinder gasoline engine on the air filter box guys or on the hose right after the air filter box you will have a sensor like that guys this sensor right here this is known as mass air flow sensor people just call it MAF MAF sensor what is a MAF sensor now guys MAF sensor is a sensor okay that reads okay uh, that reads how much air is going guys in the engine okay and if that sensor tells okay five grams of air are going every second the engine computer will tell the fuel injector to spray a certain amount of fuel so the engine can run at its best it can pollute uh, the least guys and it has it can provide the smoothest operation later when the air and the fuel burn and come out of the exhaust your oxygen sensor which is located on the exhaust okay manifold on the exhaust guys it's going to read if the mixture was good okay and tell the computer if it needs to adjust something if it keeps adjusting all the time guys it tells the engine that it's uh, running lean and there is a vacuum leak somewhere so what now is a vacuum leak guys every okay leak of air that gets in the engine uh, past that sensor the engine will not know of okay let's say you have the intake boot okay right here uh, intake boot on the bottom that intake boot mounts right here okay uh, to the air filter box if that hose clamp is loose okay the engine will get some extra air it's past the mass airflow sensor it doesn't know about that air as a result guys your engine is running okay is running super lean and this is guys a vacuum leak any amount of air that the engine doesn't know of so it could be something simple such as loose hose clamp because somebody didn't tie it get it tied on all the way or forgot to tighten it when they service the engine okay and you have usually two three hose clamps holding the intake boot to the throttle body which will be mounted on the intake manifold this is guys your throttle body or it could be such as a bed gasket on the on the throttle body that mounts to the intake manifold 
that could be as well guys leading to vacuum leak it could be it could be a cracked intake manifold it could be a bad gasket on the intake manifold where it mounts to the cylinder head or sometimes guys it's something super simple such as as i said loose hose clamp broken vacuum line cracked vacuum line i think this is the purge valve line right here yep purge valve line right here uh, you need to expect every vacuum line the pcv system on your uh, on your engine this is the positive crankcase ventilation system guys it's right here for instance uh, what it does it actually uh, takes the vapors from the cylinder head brings them back to the uh, uh, actually uh, to the oil pan and uh, some go in the through the PCV valve they go in the intake manifold and that holes right here guys okay this is the PCV PCV holes there and as a result guys if you have a broken hose ours is right here somebody tried to fix it with the with electrical tape can you imagine that so uh, that holes there guys so can can cause that as well so look for broken hoses loose connectors uh, every little vacuum hose that you see on that bmw on the inside guys it has an o-ring okay where it attaches to certain place so that o-ring could be loose as well make sure that they're not loose but always guys just loose uh, check for something loose and something that wasn't tightened when the engine was serviced or it was worked on so hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure out okay on a 3 series bmw what a vacuum leak is thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time